In this dosage calculation problem, it states, to be administered by IV for pediatric calcium maintenance, 4 milliequivalent per kilogram per day calcium gluconate for a 28-pound child. How many milliliters will this patient receive per day? To answer the problem, we need to have the dosage in milliliter per day. To begin a pharmacology problem, we start with the doctor's orders. The amount of medication is based on the weight of the patient. To determine the amount of medication then, we need to start with the weight of the patient. So we'll do so taking that weight and expressing it as a fraction with a denominator of one. However, the weight is in pounds and it needs to be in kilograms, the metric measurement for weight. Our conversion fraction then will need pounds in the denominator. Consulting a conversion table, we find there are 2.2 pounds equivalent to one kilogram. Expressing these values in a fraction gives us a conversion fraction with a value of one and will allow us to cancel out the common factor of pounds in the numerator and the denominator since they have a value of one. We now have the weight of the patient in kilograms and can determine the amount of medication given in the doctor's orders by multiplying it by that order of four milliequivalent per kilogram per day. We have a common factor of kilogram in the numerator and denominator that allows us to cancel out those values as well. We have milliequivalent per day. Consulting the drug on hand, we see that there are 465 thousands milliequivalent per milliliter. Using that relationship will allow us to set up an, an additional conversion fraction with the milliequivalent value in the denominator and the milliliter in the numerator, giving this fraction a value of one, which allows us to cancel out that common unit of milliequivalent in the numerator and the denominator. We now have milliliter per day. We can move on to multiplication of the fractions by multiplying the numerators for the new numerator multiplying the denominators for the new denominator, and last, performing the division of the numerator by the denominator to give us a final answer of 109.5 milliliter per day.